Okay, so this is a Virgo reading. Like, subscribe to the channel. Tell me how much you love me. Tell me how much of an amazing reader that I am. Um, all of those things. Like this video. Like the prior video to anything I said in the past resonated. Comment and tell me what is resonating. Subscribe to the channel. 19. Yeah. So, first card is the Magician. Ooh. Virgos, you got something that you need to get off your chest. You got something to say. Okay, so the next card that flew out the deck was Six of Cups. We have Page of Swords inside the deck as well. We have the Tower. So something is changing in your life and in your situation. We also have Temperance. So, you know, you need to remain more balanced. Look at your personal issues that you may have within yourself to figure out if like whenever anything's going wrong in your life look inside of you know you to see where that issue may go four of wands you may have fast movement currently going on in your life 111 things may be moving fast right now in your life uh nine of wands as well you're trying to defeat something um five of cups as well and the other card that flew out is the sun okay so you are the sun of course overall you embody the sun energy because the sun card is like the you know the big card out the deck it's like the joker it embodies all energies um and it kind of trumps over everything so when usually it says feminine energy if it's male masculine energy i feel like it leans more towards the star card but it could be masculine as well um but yeah, we'll see as I get into the reading. This could be female, male. This could be, uh, you know, like I said, man and masculine, and feminine energy, things of that nature. So, yeah, you're a great person, you know. The sun shines on other people, so that's what you should be doing is shining. Yeah. Five of Cups. She grasps whatever is left and rejoices in what is not lost. She leaves the situation salvaging what is her, left of her own emotions and self. So maybe uh, it, with that tower card being there too, maybe you just went through a drastic change, something, you know, a big drastic change in your life and you're trying to move on from it. 247, 248, 249. Um, nine of Wands is on the bottom and we have the devil in the middle. So this devil energy is speaking on more so... Like, I just did a Taurus reading as well. Speaking, and so you can look back at that to kind of correlate. But, um, this devil energy is just speaking on you kind of being reckless and misers and, you know, maybe drinking and smoking or, you know, drinking and drugs or things of that nature has kind of entered in your life. And it's saying, you know, you care about your, it's superficial. Basically, the devil card is a superficial card. It's saying you're superficial. 333. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Nine of Wands. The battle has worn him down and he is close to defeat. Okay. So it just says check for your health or for how you may be feeling. You might be feeling kind of slightly down and depressed at this time. And obstacles in your life may kind of weigh you down. Or may have weighed you down in the past. Um, the Magician. He brings together all elements as he is the catalyst of all. He is the energy that drives the one who sparks interest. He is charming, he is witty, and he is at home with the world around him. So yeah, this could be somebody in your life or this could be your energy as well. Um... Even if you're going through whatever you're going through or growing through, we say growing through, even if you're growing through the things that you're growing through, you know, you're still connected to yourself and you're still connected to this world. 444. So tap into your connections. Always just tap into your connections and yeah, just keep moving forward. Keep on pushing. Okay, Six of Cups. 
In work situations, you may find yourself revisiting past endeavors or contacts to help you along the way. And you may also reflect upon memories of past achievements and happiness and attempt to incorporate those goals into your present life. So, yeah, maybe you just are going through a lot of situations to where you need extra help or you need motiv more motivation. You need more um, of that extra push from somebody, some energy that helps you create more, an energy that helps you do more things. And I just kind of did a Virgo reading about this as well. Um, and it was kind of speaking on the same thing about, you know, bringing in and building partnerships for bigger purposes, like le letting go of things that don't make you feel creative, things that don't make you, you know, grow, things that don't, don't, if it, you know, if it doesn't have a good output, if what 555, if what comes out of that situation is not awesomeness, is not greatness, then it's like, okay, well, it's mediocrity then. So if it's mediocre, you know, let it go because you're, you are the sun and you're not mediocre. Okay. So page of swords. She is a shrewd lady who wields her sword in a protective manner. She is cautious of others and hides behind her words. So this could be you or it could be someone in your energy or someone you know around you. Um, as a person, this card embodies an individual with a stern but curious outlook on life. This person is forever examining, dissecting, and psychoanalyzing others. He or she could be a student of anthropology or of the sciences. Bright, refreshing, and intelligent will be attributes common to this person. In situations, you will find yourself entering and exploring new and uncharted regions of the mind. New ideas and new concepts will be put into play, exposing you to endless possibilities for the future. Yeah. Around you will be games to play, wittiness and humor to tickle your funny bone. So, yeah, uh, you will be able to, we all have different powers. We all have different strengths. So I feel like this energy that you're stepping into, you are going to 17, 18, 19, you're going to start meeting more people who you can play with the way you like to play. Like, to other people a cat playing with yarn or scratching up a post is boring but maybe you that cat that like to scratch up the post and like to goddamn play with that yarn when you feel like it or whatever else and get whatever else you want to do and some people don't know how to do that or some people don't find the fun in the the games the power play the games the, all of those things of that nature so yeah it's you have to get more you're well you're going <clears throat> you're going to find more people in the future and in your life coming up that are going to give you that energy that fun that back and forth yeah because like it's fun it's fun i'm so tired of singing this song I, you should watch the sagittarius reading i did but it's a paradise and it's a war zone so, yeah, everybody don't, like, I was at work the other day, and this girl was low-key kind of being real catty with me. So, I gave her a big meow right the fuck back. And we was going at it for a little minute, like, not arguing, but just, like, talking shit. Like, poking our little chest out, you know, flapping our little wings. Like, bitch, you gonna fly the highest. And, <laughs> and it's like... To other people, like, that may, they may, like, other women might look at that and they get offended and they get hurt. They be ready to fight and argue. And then other women look at that like, okay, bitch, I see you. 907, 908, 909, stand your motherfucking ground then. All right, talk your shit, bitch. I fuck with that. Like, and that's the energy me and her left on. Like, okay, I respect you. I like you. That's cute. I, I fuck with that. That's real cute. Like, it's fun. Some people, you know, like I said, some people be ready to fight because they got so much other mental shit going on. 927, 928, 929 that they can't play in that catty energy and still keep that wholesomeness about them. You know? So, yeah. Some people turn, you know, into a motherfucking beast. They, instead of just being a motherfucking, you know, lioness. Yeah, all of those type of things. Just enjoy the playful, the playfulness of it. Like, you know, 
when lions are in the jungle like they deal you know it's the it's the certain man that has the specific you know lioness that they play with when they feel like it or whatever of that nature you get what i'm saying but yeah so those women are all they're not fighting and stuff all day but they know you know they like to they like to play around and scratch each other up and do whatever they want to do whenever they feel like doing it because that's they can they all can everybody can everybody can do what they want to do when they want to do it so it's like why not have fun with it so yeah why not have fun with it why not play with it why not Ten thirty nine. okay page of swords i already read that the chariot His focus and drive has taken him to a state of uncontrollable obsession. His ambitions have driven him to rage and to abuse his position and power. He only sees the finish line and will stop at nothing till he gets there. Okay, in situations, this card warns of compromising ethics and morality or integrity of yourself for a project or a situation or for financial gain, pretty much. Eleven nineteen. So, yeah... And whatever you're doing, make sure you keep your integrity. And make sure you're not compromising your morals and, you know, beliefs. Um, so, and this also could be someone in your life as well who is, they're abusing their powers. They're so focused on how power 1144 they're so focused on how powerful that how powerful they are in the things that 1149 and the things that they can do instead of you know maybe working it's teamwork teamwork make the motherfucking dream work 1159 and everybody don't understand that so this could be you in this energy or this could be someone else that you that's in your energy um because remember we had the devil card as well so i feel like the devil card is correlating to that and maybe this person is also like a superficial person but as some people can be you know they can be that eight they can live in a superficial world and still live in a spiritual world right 1227 and some people are just they can't they just none but they can't ain't nothing to it but just saying that they can't um yeah and that's all i had a son last and i already kind of gave a breakdown of the sun i go get my big book so i can do real breakdowns but like my video subscribe to the channel tell me how amazing i did tell me how much you love me uh tell me how gorgeous i am thank you i love y'all okay i'm still go for the sun go for the sun reach for the sun go for the sun The sun illuminates the paths to happiness and good tidings. They are happy within and with their current situation. So, yeah. You are just entering a time where things will... Maybe things were kind of... What is it called? Uh, mundane in your life. 1333. And it's saying that this is a time where things will start to become less, uh, less mundane. So, yeah. Okay. So... That was a great reading. I had fun. I told you already. Like, subscribe, comment. Goodbye. 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 You are the weakest link. Goodbye. But no. <laughs> Why the fuck I told somebody that shit the other day? You are the weakest link. Goodbye. <laughs> I'll be so mad at these dudes. And that's what I feel like another thing maybe that you just needed to hear. Like, sometimes, like I said, sometimes you just got to chew these niggas up with your words and just 14 14 and just keep it pushing ignore it, everything else and just eat them up with your words like all right motherfucker i got something for your ass like be that sweetheart still be that cake be that sweetheart and love on them but still keep that sharp tongue in your throat and be able to be like yeah motherfucker yeah spice your ass up all right bye <laughs> virgos